How does combative Wing Chun compare to other versions of Kung Fu? So when people ask me how does combative Wing Chun compare to other Kung Fu, uh, well, like other Kung Fu, I assume that you're talking about Shaolin Kung Fu or uh, Wushu, uh, which includes like um, Ba Gua or Xing Yi or some other like uh, Hong Gar and things like that. Uh, those are the kind of Kung Fu I think you're talking about. Now what those do is they're great. I learned those too. They focus mostly on forms and on um, flexibility and on overall health, overall health. Um, but for realistic application, they just don't train you the same way that we do. Uh, what I found is that a lot of the ancient um, you know, secrets, they, so to speak, from even Kung Fu like Tai Chi uh, have been lost. Okay? Now they teach it more of in the uh, holistic manner. They teach you, uh, they use it more of a health or lifestyle, which is great. And that's why people love martial arts. But it's lost the combative aspect of it. It's lost the practical aspect of it. Um, and definitely it does not deal with stuff that you deal with today because the way that people attack today is different from the way people usually attack 300 years ago, right? So, um, so with combative Wing Chun, we add to a lot of the Kung Fu, okay? And we bring back a lot of the uh, combative, a lot of the even lethal aspects of the ancient martial arts that they used back then. Because well, what was it used back then for? You need to defend yourself against people who are going to kill you. All right, people are gonna kill you back then. So you need something that actually worked for real. Unless, you know, it's not just for show. It's not just for physical fitness. It's not just for, you know, you know, mental health. It's for survival. Okay, so a lot of that has been lost. So with combat and we bring that back, you know, in a way that works today in real life.